The goal of this year's house tour is to bring people into one of Dorchester's many really interesting neighborhoods. This is um, Ashmont Hill has a really good collection of Victorian houses from about 1870 to 1900. And it's really to show people um, all the different ways that the owners of these houses have maintained the character and um, the special qualities of their homes while adapting them for 21st century living. Well, um, I moved here two years ago. Um, I lived over on Barrington Road, just a few uh, minute walk away. Um, the house had trees growing out the foundation. Carriage houses are a very endangered species because in most properties they are used, can only be used for storage, not for the original purpose of housing a horse or a carriage, but uh, usually not sturdy enough even now for a, uh, a car. In the back where the kitchen is now, there were horse stalls. The horse stalls were still there. <laughs> there was a uh, sliding door. I don't know if you noticed upstairs in the bathroom. That was the door that separated the carriages from the horses. So I repurposed that and put it up as my, um, bought the hardware online, and it's my bathroom door upstairs. <laughs> Not, you know, doing, redoing an old house is not for everybody because it does take a lot of organization and thought, but it's also a wonderful educational experience. So it was about um, three months for the major construction, and I'm still doing lots of little projects. I don't know, I think I'm 75% of the way. What's striking you as the best examples of preservation of how it might have originally looked when it was still, in fact, a carriage house? Well, cert <laughs> certainly the barn door. That, that is the key feature that is evident on this building as you walk up the drive. And uh, the other pieces are the shingling, uh, combination of shingling and, and clapboarding. Yeah, absolutely. Anything worth saving, we saved. Keeping the major features of the building, so the, the design of the, the windows, for instance, the, the lineup of the windows, what we call the fenestration, that appearance keeps it, the building in that same aspect over the years. Changing them to smaller windows, different patterns of windows, makes a very big difference in a neighborhood. Oh, okay, so man, um, see those two windows? Yeah. Those are those two windows. Yeah. Part of building a sense of history, um, because we are all part of Dorchester's history now. We are living Dorchester's history now. And, and so those neighborhoods that have, whether modern or old, that have a cohesiveness in design, usually have a cohesiveness in community as well. It's not just Victoria neighborhoods like Ashmont Hill or some of the others. It's any neighborhood, I think, has a history, and the people who live there have a history that is always worth sharing.